Hello and welcome to Water Cooler. The core four, baby. Oh, whoa. Ooh, ooh. Thanks so much for hanging out. My name is Chris Loxamana, and this is the show where I hang out with my Corolla digital buddies, my Corolla show friends, and we kick it. We drink some drinks, talk about whatever, and I got the core four, and everybody's wondering, who is the core four? What is that, Chris? Well, no one, no one's wondering that. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> I don't know. They all know. <laughs> That's right. So with me today, Matt Fondelier. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Gary Smith's here. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And a new star. He's been everywhere. He's been all over the place, if you follow Pixel Fun, that is. But Kalen Bean's here. Hey, what's going on? And Holy ins- shit. Is, is Insomniac here? He's still not here, but uh, we have got some sightings of him recently. So at least he's alive and well. Oh, so we can confirm that those are real. Those are not doctored photos. I don't know. I don't know. They seem real to me. All right. So what we're talking about. Insomniac's, Insomniac's bold. Hitchhiking in 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're talking about is our resident water cooler artist or photographer. I mean, I don't know if these are doctored or not, so we can just... He he controls all the imaging for the show, and I'm going to share the screen here, and we can take a look at he's he's uh created some insomniac sightings. So if you look at your screen here, we are we're on. Where can people Instagram. see this, by the way? Pixel Where do people Fun's go to Instagram see this? Instagram or Twitter. Watch or the episode video. on YouTube. Yeah, that's watch this episode on YouTube. Yeah, or watch this on YouTube. So. <laughs> that's, what trying, that's what I was trying to do. <laughs> oh, I see. Damn it. <laughs> Um, right. So right now we have Have You Seen Him? This is uh, very similar to the Search for Animal Chin, the uh, the skate video. At least for me, that's what I think this is. And Hey, can we take a survey here? Did anyone else know what Chris was talking about when he said that? Because I have nope. no, I, I, no. The only thing I, I know named Chin is a friend of Chris's. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, the yeah. Search for Animal Chin is a Bones Brigade, Br- Brigade skate video featuring like Tony Hawk and Steve Cavallaro. And it, it actually has a storyline. It's an old, I think it's like the 80s, but here, let me, uh, let me show you. While you're pulling that up, is anyone else as excited as I am that Tony Hawk 1 and 2 is coming out as a remastered video game? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah, it's coming out completely updated graphics in 4K for Xbox One and PS4, and I take my money. It's like new challenges and shit. It's not just the same exact video game. They got new stuff coming in as well. Wow. But, but, no, it is the same video game plus new stuff. It's. Oh, I just take my money. <laughs> my uh, my fondest memory of that game is just trying my best to hold my pee while playing that game at, at the Target toy section. Uh, because they you could play the the warehouse level. Yeah. And I would just stand there and play as long as I could, you know, unless there's somebody behind me. Then of course I'll let them play. But I was obsessed with that demo, and then I eventually got it, and it really is just a cultural phenomenon. Masterpiece of a video game. Yeah. Uh, but here, let me show you the search for Animal Chin real quick. So this is search for Animal Chin. And the, oh. so these are the guys like Mark okay. Gonzalez, Tony Hawk, Lance. Uh, oh, what's his name? Mountain. Lance Mountain. But there we go. So I think that's what that is. But anyway, let's go back to uh, see where Pixel Fun has gone. So if you look at your screen again. Went to Texas. I like the details. The Yo necklace. That's a great necklace. It actually looks real, too. Like, he really gets the contrast right. Rodeo. It looks real. I'm pretty sure that is real. Plural life. These are photos. Yeah. Oh, look at the branding on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the bullet. It's so good. 69. Hanging out with Guy Fieri, who, by the way, has been in the news for all the money he's raised for restaurant staff workers. So, woo to Guy woo-woo. Fieri. Woo-woo. As I said, Flavortown Tourism is hot right now. So Zomniac just killing the Jeopardy game. I think that's got to be the highest total anyone's ever yeah. had. <laughs> 69696969 Very impressive. That's amazing. Then uh, things start taking a turn. <laughs> Looking pretty yoked jail. right there, Insomniac. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else notice that? Yeah, he's in jail. Yeah. And, uh, and then when it goes to rehab, and now he's meditating. And now he's on his way to Glendale hitchhiking. I gotta say the the one of him meditating is for some reason deeply disturbing to me. I don't know what it <laughs> is about it, eyes. but it just yes, the eyes. It really, really wigs me out. 
<laughs> so bravo pixel fun please everybody go check out pixel funds account and uh and then check out tony hawk when it comes back as well i'll give him a plug too because uh that game really did change my life andrew reynolds plus a steamer cream Campbell. <laughs> wow name all of them um all right how are you guys outdoor mats in the hizzy what up? Out the hizzy, out, I guess, outside the hizzy. That's true. Yeah. But once again, a beautiful day. I, I, I think you're going to be getting a lot more of those than not during this quarantine. Um, sure seems like it. Yeah. And everybody. Good. I'm, I'm a little confused as to why it looks like you're dressed for a middle school graduation. <laughs> as a teacher or a uh, student? <laughs> student. Damn it. Gary. Okay. So I'm wearing a suit. So Gary or a, a sports coat and a tie and a shirt. Uh, Gary. Thanks, man. Gary looks at me and says, oh, it looks like he could also be coaching a little league baseball team as well. Right. Our basketball all right, team, all right. right? Like what the little it? guys. So my issue with all of this is from Gary and Matt, sure, they are taller than me. Most people are. And so when I wear a suit, go. all of a sudden, I'm just going to a kid's function. Like I'm going to, a, according to Gary, an altar boy service or a middle <laughs> school graduation. Or I'm coaching a little league team or maybe part of a little league team. Who knows? Maybe I'm at the banquet for little league players of the year uh and then so i look at gary i'm like oh well what are you going to basketball practice because he's tall and i thought wait that that's actually kind of cool so there's really <laughs> nothing i could say i could also see you being the ringer for like a debate team at a high school or something <laughs> and they're just like whoa that fucking 16 year old's got a big beard you know i'll take it uh yeah i, th I think it's the texture of the jacket it's kind of it's tweed tweedy yeah it's tweed so that's what it is. The tweet is all of a sudden intellectual. That's what it, that's what's in your head, guys. Intellectual, or a kid, yeah. <laughs> or a little kid. And uh, the reason I am wearing this, well, we'll get to it in a moment. Uh, Gary, how are you? I'm good, man. I just rushed home from the Corolla Studios. I've been there all day with Kaylin, and uh, we knocked out four or five different shows, Jeez. and uh, it was a busy day, um, but. But it was good. We uh we had Mark Garrigus around for a little bit, and it was a it was a, a light crew of only four of us or so in the building at any yeah but at the busiest time. But and um, separated by glass, so it's yeah all, yeah yeah all good. Caitlin Bean is still at the studio. I know that room. I'm indeed. Yeah, but he is indeed. Well, happy Friday, gentlemen. Cheers. 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 Oh, Caitlin has his dad mug. That's cute. This isn't my mug. You use it the most, so it lo I think it's yours now. Okay. Uh, and it says thanks on the inside, which is very sweet. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Did I just ruin your show and tell? <laughs> Damn it, Chris. Uh, oh, yeah. I know. I, I didn't, look, I didn't bring one either. If you guys just want to, we can forego it. Because Dawson's I got something. All right, I got my, something. All right, let's start then. My show and tell is uh, what I'm wearing. So the reason <laughs> I am wearing, I am wearing this is uh, my brother got married today uh so he was oh, nice. yeah so wow. he was supposed to get married and uh and he held on to his wedding day and but here's what happened because all the church all the chapels are closed the courthouses are closed but gary your mighty ducks have uh opened the honda center the honda center is open for marriages what they what you do is that's right Ooh, nice. that is where the uh or the, the anaheim ducks excuse me they they the Honda Center, where they play, has opened a few of their ticket booths as places to get married quickly. So well, the, the process is you just go, you, you register, you make the appointment, you go in your car, you drive out to the parking lot, you wait for the phone call that they're ready, you walk out, you walk up to the ticket booth, they pronounce you husband and wife, you take a photo, you walk back in the car. So romantic. So romantic, God. but all very much a sign of the times. And yeah, so that's what happened. So, um, unfortunately, I couldn't be there. They wouldn't. They wouldn't allow anybody else there. They think you get have like one or two witnesses, and uh, they each brought their uh, respective mother. So, uh, so what we're doing is we're doing a surprise parade in the car. Remember, how I told you we we're gonna do that for my friend's birthday. We actually didn't end up, do, end up doing it for my friend, but we we should, Gina Grad had it for her birthday. We showed that in the Corolla show, and we're doing it. It's a surprise one for them, and we're uh, decorating the cars and. I put on 
the jacket and the tie. And I regret having the pants. I do have basketball shorts, and I'm thinking of slipping those on because I'm just going to be driving anyway. And, uh, yeah, we're all going to congratulate my brother and my new sister. Well, that's great, man. Marriage. Woo! Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Yeah, we're really excited. Pass it along. How interesting, though, right? The Honda Center opened up, and is, they're just marrying people. It's crazy. Anything to keep your business going, though, you know? It's yeah. crazy time. Yeah, it's 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 uh, I don't know I I think it's kind of cool and it's such a slice of where we are as a as a society. Like, you're you getting married at the Honda Center is just as good a story as getting married anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Is uh, has this brought up any feelings between you and your quarantine queen about the uh, the plans that you guys have? No, no. Because um, the thing is, we like my brother. He's he's kind of just like a uh, let's just get married and we don't have to make a big deal i'd rather focus things on another other uh uh my focus on you know not having a huge wedding we will eventually have a celebration like we've already talked about it like we're gonna have a huge party once this is over but they just want to get married now and jen and i we're just we're fine waiting it's all good we love each other just the same and um yeah we wanted to go proceed with the the wedding we had planned before all this anyway so it's all it's all good but here i'll show you some pictures of uh of the people getting married there. So yeah, they look, some of them, look at this. You just get, you go walk into these booths, you get married and then they have like, like, uh, Oh, so that's not even at the Honda center. I mean, it's, it's in the, the parking, parking lot, lot, but it's yeah, like not, sorry. it's freestanding outside. That's interesting. Yeah. They're, it's like a pop-up. I'm going to have to look for this cause I drive by the Honda center all the time. Yeah. You'll see it. And that's, uh, you start, yeah, getting a lot as you drive by, there. just be like laying on your horn. Oh yeah. Yeah. I could. Yeah. And just ruin their ceremony. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. That would be awesome. Do you, Jim, take. <laughs> <laughs> They'll remember that moment forever. Or like the groom just like, if this isn't the right idea, if this is a good idea, just give me a sign. <laughs> <laughs> if you If your horn sounds like that, then yes, do it. <laughs> Or Seriously. you can go real classic here, have Joya drive. You sit in the passenger seat, roll that window down a little bit, show him a little mooning there. You know what I mean? Mm, Give him a little. Uh, that is a thing them, I could do. Show them a little moon. <laughs> <laughs> is definitely Again, I'm just an trying to think of ways to, to make it more memorable for people, you know? Yeah. It's really Outside Matt, for, their, just, for them. Just spitballing. I get it. Yep. Yeah. Well, anyway, that is why I am wearing what I am wearing. Uh, it's it was wow, weird. That's our it new was... segment. So, <laughs> why so in wearing... the parade, will you be the ring bearer? <laughs> <laughs> Count it. I like it. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. Well, I, I will say this though: this is the first time since March that I have not, not... a no. <laughs> <That I> have, uh... <laughs> That I've not worn drawer clothes. Like I, I just realized like all of my clothes since March have been drawer clothes. And I opened yes. the closet and I kind of even got hit in the face like, whoa. Like the closet kind of garnered its own smell. It funks. Yeah, a funk of I, not being opened in so long. I know exactly what you're talking about because I and Kaylin, I don't know if you can speak to this. I'm, I'm guessing no now that I said it out loud. But I have to <laughs> delineate between t-shirts that I wear around the house when I'm going to be holding the baby because the baby will just drag your shirt down if you're holding mm. it. It's just either by pulling on it or just the weight of him being on your chest or whatever and then work clothes. And when I went to go finally put on, you know, a work t-shirt for the first time, there was definitely a, a funk. It wasn't bad, but it was, it was something. Yeah. The, it's a, uh... That's interesting that you guys, that you have to do that. I never thought about that. You have to have shirts that you're willing to get mm -hmm. stretched out. Yep. Killing luckily, some to work. Luckily, those are all of my shirts. So yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I realized after I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalen's just got shirts. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got, I got hit in the face with that closet funk. It's not a bad smell. It just smells like an oh. old smell. Like a, yeah, I don't, I can't must. explain it. A must. Yeah. So that, uh. My first time wearing closet clothes in a long time, which is equal to formal attire these days. And then it got me thinking, is there a a wider chasm of attire than cocktail attire? 
Because I remember when we used to get our invitations, and it would say cocktail attire. It really meant something different for everybody. Some people would wear the – well, Gary, what is cocktail attire to you? It, I, I really – you're right. It depends on the event. But my go-to would probably be jeans, a black T-shirt, and then depending on the event, probably a sport coat over it. So T-shirt and jeans. Well, a specific – specifically black T-shirt – with the uh with the sport coat without the sport coat that's not cocktail attire jeans and a t-shirt even if it's black is not doesn't really fly so if i didn't want to wear the sport coat i would probably wear a button down or i guess you could probably get away with a golf shirt right that i no, i i agree so uh caitlin what about you if you see cocktail attire uh <laughs> for the longest time it was just jeans and a button down long sleeve shirt that I then rolled the sleeves up. Uh, and then I actually finally went and got a sport coat. So now it's similar to Gary's jeans, t-shirt, little sport, sport coat. All right. Yeah, I remember the reason I got, I have this coat here is Dr. Drew had a birthday a few years ago where everybody was supposed to dress like Dr. Drew, which weirdly the costume was Gary's cocktail attire shirt. Yeah. Jeans, it was the best, best day of my a, life. And a sport coat. All the guys like would just come in dressed like that. Cause that's what Drew usually wears to any function. Which, I mean, that is, for a guy, that is the pinnacle of how far you can get with comfort and uh, class. As a, yeah, and class, exactly. So it's, comfort, it's comfortable. It's literally t shirt and jeans. You just have a sport coat on. That, but That invitation was the best invitation I've ever gotten because it was like, dress like Dr. Drew. I was like, I got done. no problem. Yeah. That is so, that's sick. Yeah, done. Easy. So, and then that uh, party. Like, well, what about I don't know if I've ever told you about this, guys, but that party was held in uh, in the W Hotel in uh, on the west side of Los Angeles, and a bunch of people that we know were there. Uh, Adam was there, a bunch of different celebrities and comedians, because Drew's friends with a lot of people like that. And at a certain point in the night, about an hour and a half into it, all these past apps had been going around, and it was delicious. There was these sliders. There was oh yeah, big big uh onion rings outside there was a was it a mac and cheese bar there was some it kind was. of ridiculous oh it was so good yep and it was and, uh yeah this was dr Drew's birthday right yeah it was i think it was his 60th mm-hmm. actually and uh about an hour and a half into the party i end up standing next to vinnie tortorich vinnie tortorich looks at me and he looks at the food i'm eating and he looks at the different past apps and he goes gary you know i can't eat that shit it's just not only do i not want to but you know vinnie doesn't highlight it that often, but he's an SNG because it helped him with the cancer that he was diagnosed with, you know, many years ago. So he stays very, very strict. And he announces to me, you know, when I, when I got the invite to this party, I was a little bummed because I knew that there wasn't going to be anything that I could eat here, but I saw what hotel this was in. Gary, there is a steakhouse in this hotel. And when this party is over, I'm going to go get myself a giant tomahawk steak. And I had to break it to Vinnie Tortorich that we were standing in the steakhouse that had been rented out for this party. <laughs> <laughs> he was devastated. That's hilarious. He literally looked around. He was like, what? Are, yeah. are you serious? God, he, was, he was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor That's Vinnie. That's great. That's a really great story. And, uh, and that was a great cocktail attire for there. Matt, what do you usually wear? Uh, well, I want, it's like a lot a, of guys listen to this show, so I want to make sure yeah. we get this out there. Went back when we events start being uh, organized again. Yeah, I mean, when I hear cocktail attire, it usually means I'll put on a skirt, but you know, sometimes I'll put a dress or something on a little bit below the knee. There you you know? know, yeah, but you know, you don't it's casual. It yeah, exactly. And you don't want to send a, the wrong message. Right. To, and, you know, uh, straps or not, it just kind of depends on the other accessories. Straps optional. I get it. I love yeah. it. Okay. Well, there you go. That's Matt's cocktail attire. We're talking about stretched collars. I found this old picture of me as a kid. Look at this stretched collar. Look, look how I wore my shirts. That's oh, like wow. a kid hanging on my – but it's an MJ shirt, though. That's, That's a nice shirt. That's how a lot of my shirts look these days. It's Michael Jordan right there. But, yeah. That's uh, yeah, I was looking through old pictures and I found that. I was like, oh, my collar is very stretched out in that. Uh, All right. Well, guys, to be honest, I wish I could stick around longer. This is just a little, I I like doing these second week shows uh, and and I really do have a blast doing them. So let's get a quick show and tell around for the rest of you guys. And then I got a boogie because I got a wedding parade to be a part of. Uh, I'll make mine quick. No worries. I got a. I got a Hurley hat here that yeah. my sister-in-law actually sent me a picture of like 12 different hats. And she was like, 
pick two. I was like, what's the story? She's like, that, like, you know, work associate, pick quickly. So I picked actually these two. They're the same one, but just in different colors. And when she brought them to me, there was tags on them. These are like unreleased Hurley samples. So it says Aloha with the Hurley logo. Yeah, and on I the back, that. they've got the Hurley logo in the Hawaiian Islands. I love it. Hurley. Cool. Southern California. Very cool. Very uh, reminiscent. It reminds me of Blink-182. Blink used to rock Hurley real hard. Back in it when it yeah. was like the the crooked three-quarter cap, the uh, Dickies shorts, the Hurley shirt, the studded belt, yep. maybe maybe a, a sweat wristband. And uh, I'm thinking of Tom DeLonge, I guess, mostly. Who, mostly, by the way, is but... right about all those aliens. Man, I feel bad for, for talking shit. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I do. Uh, that's that. When I think of Hurley, it's always Blink One Eighty Two. But I yeah, love very... it. Lost. Oh really, Hurley? Hurley. Hurley. Yeah. He's in the little Miss. He's in little or the wrong Missy. Sorry, the wrong okay. Missy. And he's and weirdly, his scene's on a plane. So the whole time I'm thinking, <laughs> why is this happening? I can't. I can't focus right now. You can't have his whole scene on a plane. But and uh, did you know Weezer named an album called Hurley, Kalen? I did not know that. You want to see the cover of it? I'm going to show you the cover of it. I sure do. A lot of media in this in today's episode. This is the. Well, cover. that's why you have to. This that's is why the, you have to watch well, on YouTube. You gotta check out, yeah, you got to check out the YouTube. That picture. Wow. Oh, they actually used him. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really <laughs> just the album cover. It's early from Lost. <laughs> All right, I love it, Gary. Hurley nice, hat, one nice of a job. kind. Aloha. Very nice. Shout out to Chaka my sister-in-law. Bro. Thank you, Molina. Thank you, Molina. All right, Matt. So, uh, wait. First off, what is this shirt you're wearing? Uh, my shirt. You guys have seen a thousand times. It's like my yeah. uh, California bear playing the guitar, Classic. singing the song for California. <laughs> oh, that's what, you know, he's that's what he's singing. Got it in Mammoth. Mammoth. No, I got it in San Francisco. Actually, like very good guess. All right. Um, is so this really is the segment why I'm wearing what I'm wearing? Is that is, no, I was no, just it's, fucking it's, kidding. This, it's show and tell. It's show and tell. I just was curious because I saw a guitar on your shirt. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's a guitar in the shape of the state of California. We just got it like some uh, some art fair in Pasadena uh, or San Francisco. Anyway, so here in California, we have to wear masks. Uh, apparently for the foreseeable future of course uh, that's only in l that's only in la baby i'm down here living free really oh nice yeah. well i mean i wear a mask when i'm going to a store but if you want to walk yeah. around outside you're good oh yeah well i'm still gonna walk around outside without a mask on but uh when it comes into uh going into stores and shit i just i got really tired of wearing the the plastic hospital mask with the, with and, the uh, thin things around your ears like the little bands around your ears and the wait which one are you talking I, don't even, I think mine no, just had like a regular rope just around the okay. back of the head it wasn't one of the ear ones that your thing yeah. actually doesn't bother me well which face leads masks, me oh yeah let's see it to my show and tell which is the custom face mask that uh my wife got for me on etsy Ooh. and i don't know if you could tell but it's a pretty oh, cool pattern oh, nice. it's got some pretty Ooh, dope sharks. sharks on it yeah, yeah. So That's it's like white cool. and navy blue. And, you know, it's still not uh, very comfortable. And it kind of, <laughs> after a while, starts to move down my face a little bit. I'm going to have yeah. to kind of figure out a way to tighten it, I think. But, you know, it's just kind of weird. I, I don't think any of us really thought we were going to have to be fucking wearing masks for so long. But exactly. my, my advice, if you were us, uh, I mean, again, I guess it just depends on how sensitive you are to it. I recognize that this is not going to... Uh, be protecting me from anything it's not like a super intense hospital mask but if you are like me and are basically wearing it for the illusion of having to wear one i would highly suggest spending a little bit of extra money and getting something like cloth yeah. and fitted exactly i mean uh, there you go there, there are a few things first uh yeah i think wearing a mask a lot of it at least around here is more of a uh yeah i know i i understand what's going on too and i respect what's going on and it's not yeah. really, you know, a, a protective measure as it is as it is a, hey, I know you see me and I see you and we're both on the same page here. So, oh. right, like I don't want to be a dick about it, you know. Right. That's fine. Um, but and, yeah, anyway. And, that's my, and who that's knew my that they would be uh, this year's masks or what cell phone cases have been for the last 
10 years, which is they're all yeah. customizable. They're all different. Everybody kind of has their own style, their own flair to it. I'm seeing Kobe ones, seeing, uh, yeah, ones with Disney characters on them, everything. The Disney ones My are favorite. great. Go ahead, Gary. No, the Disney ones are great. I have an Angels one that my sister-in-law got, also got me. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, she's coming yeah. up so much. but yeah. yeah, sports teams. Yeah, you you rep your sports team now. So, uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize either. I still, Mine's still just plain white because I have the, uh, the ones that I've always had, which uh, you just you have to tie. But the, the worst part is, and I know Gary and Matt will be able to relate, not so much Kalen, but if I have my glasses on while wearing these masks, the worst. The worst. I can't see. You can't no. see. It just fogs, fogs your lenses up in an instant. Yeah. Well, I saw on YouTube you can just take a Kleenex and kind of roll it into a tube and then you basically just put it on the top part of the mask before you put your mask on, and that alone will kind of prevent the fog vapors from coming up. Oh, okay. I, didn't I haven't that. actually tested that, but I did see that. It really yeah. was literally just rolling a Kleenex into like a little tube shape and just kind of placing it along the top line of the mask. So I've seen worth a shot. That say, I've seen things that say wash your glasses in soapy water and then let them air dry and that that will somehow prevent the fog, which oh, I do really? seem to remember something like that from my hockey days of like that was a remedy for like the glass, you know, the plastic uh, face masks and stuff. Well, if you do like scuba diving or snorkeling, you just straight up spit in your mask. You're, you just spit in your mask and rub that shit around and you're good. Yep. Uh, maybe true. we should do that. <laughs> don't do that Matt. god if people, okay, are, people okay. are, are, are outside says the like, guy who sucks uh, <laughs> earwax out of his airpods no but i'm saying it sends a bad message to passerby if you're spitting in your glasses and rubbing in like oh hey guys yep on the same yeah. page as you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so i would uh i would avoid that but if the yeah those listening sound off because there are a lot of glasses wearers out there or, or people who are wearing face masks, make something for people with glasses. I think it would, it would help if there's a, if there is a solution. If you can build that Kleenex roll into a mask, I'd be interested in getting it because it is so hard to see when I'm walking with that with that mask and my glasses on. All right, and very good show and tell you guys, uh, Kalen. Well, continuing with the clothing theme for today's show and tell, I have my shorts. His pants. Oh, my God. I believe those are my shorts. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's a story behind this that I got to tell. And I might get it a little bit wrong, but the gist of it is that you know that me and Gary used to live together. Yeah. And then Gary moved out. He used to make love together. We know the story. Oh, yeah. That too. But uh, he left some things behind for me to just keep, like a little fridge and uh, his dresser. And essentially said something along the lines of like, it, it's all yours. Go ahead and keep it. It's fine. It's like, okay, cool. And then one day I opened up a dresser drawer and it was filled with basketball shorts. And you guys know how much I love basketball shorts. Oh, he loves his basketball and shorts. I was like, fucking score. So I started wearing around the basketball shorts. And then it took him a little while, but eventually Gary was like, are those my basketball shorts? And I was like, well, yeah, they were in your dresser. You you said I could have them. Also, Gary loves basketball shorts and forgot that he had left all of these prime basketball shorts in the dresser. So he had to come back to you later and say, "You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take those basketball shorts back." But oh. thankfully enough, he left this one pair for me. Oh, and they've gotten wow. a good use ever since. So thank and you. And they Gary. are Kalen's. I I thought I saw I thought I left a few more pairs than that for you. I the what happened was the way I figured it out was you walked in wearing a pair of USC basketball shorts and I only had one pair of USC basketball shorts. I have Arizona basketball shorts coming out of every drawer in my house, but the SC ones were what made me freak out and demand them back, but yeah, man, I, I saw that you were wearing those today, and it made me smile. I like seeing, I like seeing you rock the U of A gear. It's good. Yeah, it's a good thing. I, I have a very important question. Sure. At what point during this episode, Kalen, did you start taking your shorts off? Didn't even notice, did you? All right. <laughs> no, no, I didn't did even not. notice. But you now I'm wondering. You're just gonna have to watch it on point? YouTube and try and determine when during the show. Oh, the challenge. The Kalen challenge. It was Everybody during the show. I will tell you that. It okay, let's I gotta, that. I gotta shout out real fast, Mike, uh, who Kalen has met, and longtime water cooler listeners may remember from my biggest freak out on this show ever, where I screamed at Kalen for not introducing me to to Mike, who I have since become close friends with. So thank you. Mike. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Now, yes, I still this, wear those shorts that you sent to him, Mike. So 
This is the beginning of the Kalen Challenge. Everybody who's listening right now has to go on YouTube to watch this show. We'll tweet out the link, or you can just go to follow uh, or find Chris Locks and Mono Water. You'll find it. Uh, and try to give us the time code or screenshot of when you think Kalen is removing his <laughs> pants. And we will award. How about this? If if you win, we will award. I will I will ship you out some chunk nibbles. How wow, that? that's pretty bold. All right, so if you want some chunk nibbles on my dime, do the Kalen Challenge. Hashtag Kalen Challenge. Send us a screenshot. And Tweet it to Los you... Angeles. Yeah, yeah, at Los Angeles. <laughs> Preferably this weekend. Preferably to... over yeah. this weekend. In order to yes, win, please. you must tweet at Los Angeles. Hashtag Kalen Challenge. And, and tweet, I think this is where Kalen is taking off his pants. And a screenshot yeah. of that moment. We will choose a winner, whoever's closest. If there are multiple, then they will be chosen. We'll just choose at random of, of all the all the accurate winners. And we'll, you will get some Chuck Nibbles sent over. If multiple, people clear, get it, be... if multiple people get it right, I'll chip in and we can, we can get it out to a few more. I, not right. if 25 people figure it out. But if more than if a handful get it right, I'm sure we can work something out with Brad. Yeah, Kaylin, did you put him back on yet? Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I saw you roll him up in a ball and then push them down towards your hips. I didn't know that that suddenly yeah. expanded <laughs> and then turned that? into shorts. How did that happen? That's impressive. Well, it's future shorts. I think I think it's time to let people just get on it and uh, and figure this out. Get the Kaylin challenge started early. Get, let the early birds in now. So let's get our plugs in, and we will enjoy our weekend. We'll start with Kalen. Well, it's uh, plugged all the time, including just now, but I'll plug it again. Chunk Nibbles uh, package was just sent to uh, to me and my girlfriend's house, and I got word while I was at work that my daughter Isla is obsessed with the Chunk Nibbles now. So baby approved. Chunk baby nice. approved. All right. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof. Yeah, promo code woof, woof. Chunk Nibbles. All right, Matt, what's up with you? Uh, Thanks to Chunk Nibbles, I finally received my care package, so I'll be enjoying some of that. Uh, You can follow me on Twitter at Matt Fondelier, and uh, if you're into true crime or if you want to give it a try, Sword and Scale, the show that I work on, and uh, episodes 161, and then this Sunday is episode 162. Both of them are written by me. Wow, back to back. Yeah. Thank you. Sword and scale. And uh, Gary, where can we go for you? Uh, enjoy the chunk nibbles, boys. I think Chris probably has a box waiting. I think I do too. So thanks to Brad for that. And uh, thanks, Dave's Brad. of Thunder is back. If you uh, if you like that show, we did a, a round of a round or two of Let's Read Damashek's tweets this week. And uh, although I stumbled a little bit on my uh, my responsibilities there, it still turned out very, very funny. So check that out, davesofthunder.com, or go find the YouTube channel and subscribe, please and thank you. And, I had, and as for me, yes, Chunk Nibbles, and don't forget, Kalen Challenge, the Kalen Challenge. That's C-A-E-L-A-N, Kalen. Hashtag Kalen Challenge. Tweet us at Dos Angeles when you think Kalen took off his pants. And you shall be awarded some chunk nibbles of your own. All right. Great hanging with you guys. Uh, happy Friday. Happy weekend. And I'll see you all soon. We'll be back next week. Love you. <laughs>